Hello again and welcome back, Monsketeers, to another Radnorok cartoon commentary. And a special cartoon commentary at that. Because today, we're hanging out with the legendary Disney Orange Bird in Foods and Fun, a nutrition adventure from 1980. September 14th, 1980 to be precise. There's nothing oh, here we go. Oh, I agree. There's nothing better than fall. Oh, great. Right here in this little community. Okay. The community of houses where people live. No. But that other community close by in the tree. Hey. A place called Birdville. Into it. Now it so happens that in Birdville, yeah. one citizen <gasps> who's very special. There he is. He sure looks special with his bright orange oh. head and little green wings. They don't come more special than him. The thing that's most special about him. Yeah. The way he talks. Oh. Rather, he doesn't talk. Yep. He can't make a sound. <sighs> Instead of twittering or singing like other birds. Twittering? He's got Twitter? He wants to say something. Bright orange pictures appear over his head. I mean, right I... I can think of worse ways to communicate. Wow, what happened? Yeah, what's going on in Birdville? Why is it so downtrodden? Trotted? Downtrodden? Rex Allen is our narrator. And these voices are June Foray, Eileen Ladder, and Hal Smith in here. Yeah. <laughs> So I wonder if they notice his orange head and his leaf wings, or do they just see him as another normal orange bird? Hey, what was that? Yeah, what was that? Now, why did that have a sound? Why did his thought bubble have a sound? Hey man, you're messing up our song with that orange fog. What? kind of bird are you? You know what? Did you ever see? Yeah, no. Now they're noticing he's different. Oh, poor Orange Bird. Hey, bunch of bullies. It's all right, buddy. You're way cooler than them anyway. Hey, what are you doing around here anyway? What? Winter's coming. Why'd you? Oh, wait. There you go. He's offering a helping hand. No, no, you're not going with us. Just that flying south is a long, hard I, I mean, how unique of an idea is it for him to only be able to communicate through orange smoke thought bubbles? Yeah, go see the owl. Go work out. Go work out so you're fit enough to fly south. To Florida, maybe? So we're clearly in the northeast, right? For it to be fall like that, and he wants to fly south for the winter? Uh-oh. That's never a good sign. Are those cigarettes in the back? No, that's chalk. <laughs> yeah. So, is he just incompetent or blind? Blind as a bat is a saying, but blind as an owl, not so much. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Look how happy the skeleton is. I don't believe it, my friend. You're falling apart. You, you ought to see a doctor. Oh, boy. Oh, yes, I, I am a doctor, aren't I? Well, I'm not so sure about that anymore. Close attention. Okay. First, I want you to get plenty of rest. Oh, you see, he didn't have his glasses on. What kind of ridiculous... Yeah. Wherever did you find them? Oh, my gosh. Oh, yes. So not only is he blind, but he's clearly a lunatic. Okay. Yeah. It can still work as a projection screen, though, right? Is that what you're looking for? That oh, was a chart. All right, let's learn about nutrition. A balanced diet. All right. Okay. Like? Wow. Right out the gate with carbs. I'm into the song, though. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Poultry? Orange bird can't have poultry. 
That's borderline cannibalism. If not cannibalism. Well, actually, he's an orange bird. So I wonder what his innards look like. Are they more similar to an orange or are they more similar to a bird? And his skin. The texture of his flesh must be orange, right? I don't see a feather on him. And his wings are even leaves. So, yeah. I'm, I'm willing to bet he feels like an orange. And would that also be cannibalism? Eating fruits. And would it be technically cannibalism if he's eating an apple? Because he's an orange. Do you have to eat the same fruit that you are for it to be distasteful and wrong? <laughs> or could he have some blueberries and be totally fine? Nobody would think twice about it. I suppose him eating some berries or like a pear is similar to us eating a cow or a pig, you know? It's not your same species, but it is of the same same genus you will, as you. Okay. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Not a bad way to start. Oatmeal. What kind of egg? <laughs> chicken? Can't be a chicken. It's a tiny egg. It's got to be like a quail. I like how he's tra getting trained up. When is he supposed to leave? Because look, at it is clearly be getting chilly. I don't know. That, br that branch is going to give. There he goes. Oh, oh. So, look at Orange Bird. Okay, now he's flapping his wings. I was going to say, before he was kind of floating there, like right there. Oh, his tail feather, tail leaves were flapping, keeping him up. Okay. Yeah, he's jacked. Look at that. He's got a nice house. So... Did everyone... Okay, okay, okay. Now, now, Birdville... Oh, the Everglades. We are in Florida. Um, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, this is, this is sketchy. You would imagine, since he's an orange, he would have been born down in, uh, Florida, or maybe Southern California. You know what I mean? Orange, the orange counties of America. There is a serious alligator. And crocodile. Crocodile issue in Florida. Uh, there we go. So you're, yay! There we go. The whole way? Well, he flew. What do you... Yeah. No. Teleported. Come on. Of course. Yeah. Uh-huh. There we go. There's no downside to communicating through pictures. I think communication would be more effective if we could talk through pictures like this. What do you mean? He's got a long way to go? How far is he going? Is he going to, like, South America? Oh, dude. Beach living? Come on, Orange Bird. This is totally your speed. Uh, I was saying earlier... It makes sense now that Birdville looks so barren because everyone had flown south for the winter. What is happening there? He's flapping so fast it looked like it was just like a green like, gyroscope type situation going on. Gyroscope? The correct... Uh, never mind. Yeah? Orange Bird. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> See, his, and an orange bird look at look at this orange bird creed yeah they're all very very okay with seeing this creature i would be blown away too many pets how, what how many pets do you have i mean just just given the oddity that he is how many orange birds do these people see? Because how are they not just completely blown away? I'm confused. Look how adorable he is, though. 
catch a couple of fish. Okay. Oh, here's your opportunity. <gasps> oh no, oh no. Wait, use your smoke projector thoughts. Can, yeah, there we go. Nicely done. Whoa, look how orange that got. So they can't, I was just gonna say, can humans see? His, his thought bubbles, his thought smoke? And apparently they can. You know why he was able to kick that bridge down so easily? Or the, do yeah, the pier? Did I say pier? He was able to knock down the pier so easily because he was working out so hard, remember? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Uh, I thought he was going to go on the shoulder. If you went on his shoulder, you can find at the Disney parks a little plush shoulder sitter thing. <laughs> but I don't know. It would have been a nice little fun correlation. I'll tell you. I'll tell you later. Starving. Yay! Hey, what's he doing? He wants to help serve. Yeah. He knows all about nutrition. Yeah. I like this. Do they chant this every time they get a new pet? I guess they would have to find a new pet on. Okay, this this is very specific. Yeah. Wait a minute. I was gonna say you didn't make any sandwiches. Just because you brought the ingredients doesn't mean you made the sandwich. Orangeburg made the sandwich. It's kind of a lackluster sandwich, I'm gonna be honest. Was that orange juice? I bet it was. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay. But still, that's kind of a... Leaves a little to be desired. Yes. <laughs> they all knew the words. Is that concerning to anyone else? That was amazing. I'm so happy with this. I had never seen this before. And I'm a giant fan of Orange Bird. And you can discover that for yourself and hopefully maybe discover an Orange Bird fandom of your own by hopping over to our Radnor Rock podcast and learning everything you didn't know you wanted to know about Orange Bird. In our Orange Bird retrospective podcast available across all of your favorite podcast platforms. Um, there is another Orange Bird short, educational short, out there in existence, and I, I'll get my hands on it. But until then, as always, thanks for being a friend and telling a friend. Later. <laughs>